Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am back with a process video and I have these three pictures of a fox that uh, my son-in-law captured on a game camera out on the farm and I had pulled some supplies of my own aside to scrapbook those and then I got this kit from Scraptastic um, and it's, I think it's home, a back home or something like that uh, kit and it had some foxes in it so I thought you know what I am just gonna try to use this kit to do my layout and so it has some of the um, Cedar Lane papers in it and um, it has this whole thing of die cut pieces they're kind of they're really thick too they're almost like not quite as thick as chipboard but they're really good quality die cuts and so it had all these papers and I looked for a gray um, that would kind of match those photos and luckily it does have that one that's it's a little browner than my photos but it works really good and at first I thought about doing it on this dark paper since these are pictures that were taken during the night um, but I just wanted to do something kind of bright and light to kind of lighten the dark photos up a little bit so I decide to go ahead and use this polka dot paper as my background but I still do love that navy, so I'm going to go ahead and mat each of the photos on that. And I've done a couple layouts with, you know, the game camera pictures in the past, you know, some bear and deer and stuff. And then my son-in-law put a camera out and he was able to walk a little bit further out into the forest and stuff to set up the camera. So we got these pictures of the fox which was really cool because you don't normally you know see them during the day and so it's kind of hard to get pictures of them or know that they're even you know on your property but we're glad that they're there they keep down a lot of rodents and stuff like that so I just went ahead and matted them and I'm going to use several uh, different sheets of this and do several different mats on each one and they won't be the same for each one I just want to do a little bit of layering behind each just to give a little bit of interest so I love this zigzag um, it's kind of a orangey pinky color so I figured it went well enough with the orange fox theme and since there was an orange fox uh, puffy sticker in this kit um, I thought it would work out just perfect so I'm remembering to look at the back sides and use the front and back patterns to do some of the matting. So I like that and it just kind of makes it all brighter instead of getting too, too dark. So I really liked um, this other paper, um, this one paper, that one there, but it had a cool bold stripe on the other side. So I decided to go ahead and gut it uh, so that I'd be able to use that stripe for matting because I love a bold stripe to mat a layout on. So I wanted to kind of save that and not just um, start cutting into a, a corner of the sheet. So um, now I'm going to bring in a little bit of that gray paper just to bring in some gray from the photos. And I'm matting this one a little bit larger than the other two just because it's kind of my focal um, picture you can see the whole fox in there he's kind of filling up the frame and um, and I'm kind of putting those two uh, on the right where he will be facing into the layout and then the picture I'm putting on the left there he's kind of facing toward the camera and that keeps everything kind of facing into the layout and stuff so it, it looks a little better than having your subject just kind of pointing off the edge of the page so I'm trying to kind of keep that in mind as I'm placing my photos and again I'm just using some of the uh, papers I'm repeating some of them and bringing in new ones so those are my three photos and I'm thinking about <clears throat> doing them across the page and now that I've used those papers, the couple supplies that I had already pulled from my stash just didn't really seem to match very well. Um, so I wind up kind of setting those aside and, and pretty much just sticking with the kit um, for this layout. I'm looking through my washies. I'm just not sure. And I have these um, tags that came in the Scraptastic kit. They're cut apart tags. And I thought about just using the whole 
sheet of them like that. And I'm just, you know, continuing to play around and figuring out what I'm going to do. And I like these uh, die cuts, although a lot of them are kind of like, hello, thinking of you, thank you. They're almost like more for card making than scrapbooking. So I struggled a little bit uh, with using them. And there was a lot of these hello tags and it's like, I'm not sure you know, when I'd ever use those. So I want to go ahead and kind of use them on this. And they have some great little floral pieces in there. I tried at first to stay away from florals. Um, I just wanted to try to do it without them, but I break down at the end and wind up putting flowers in, which there's nothing wrong with that. I was just trying not to rely on uh, flowers so much uh, for my scrapbooking. So on that first one, I put it so the hello shows at the top. And on that third card, I'm just going to cover the hello up. Um, so you see a little bit of the gold peeking through, but you can't really tell that it says hello since I'm putting it upside down. And so that kind of um, makes my mats a little bit larger and it gives me a little bit of real estate to stick other things to it to do my clusters. And I do decide to stick with this three kind of across the top portion of the layout. So I go ahead and get the photos um, mounted on there. And I'm lining the pictures up and just letting the mats kind of stick out in different places. I like this hello heart, but it was just kind of a little bit too large for this. And if I stuck it in where it looked right, it, it covered up the word on there. So I love that little um, fox die cut. So I'm just going to put it up on a little bit of foam tape. Just kind of stick him right there. And he's in a little bit of empty space in that photo. And I like these little arrow pieces because they echo the arrows in that one matte paper that I used. And there's that little puffy fox, so I'm just kind of figuring out where to put him. And I love him right down there by the word love, kind of under that central photo. And I do want to build up this third photo. It's a little unbalanced. It needs to be a little taller there. so. I put some washi, but the washi just wasn't quite the right color and it, it just looked funny. So I took that back off. Now I'm looking for something else that I can stick to kind of make that mat a little bit taller um, and just a little more balanced. So I'm looking back through these frames. And I see that pink one. I liked the minty colored one, but I didn't really want to add another color at this point. So I just went ahead and stuck with this polka dot. And that just balances the size of that mat out a little bit better. And then I put that blue arrow there as well. And that just, yeah, it just, I don't know, it makes it seem more balanced to my eye. And then I like the Love This Puffy sticker, and I'm thinking about using that as my title. And I do like pull it off and put it down, and it just, it just didn't seem to work. So I wind up actually not really putting a title on this at all, um, just using the Hello Love. So those cork bows, the brown just didn't quite match in so I grabbed these Maggie Holmes bows because they had like a um, navy blue one. But that just didn't seem to work as far as placement and stuff and it was just a little bit too big. So I go back to these puffy stickers. And here's why I go to try to put the love this. It does fit perfectly over this frame. But now it just looks a little too cluttery with the hello love this. So I decide to take that off and save it for another layout. 
do like this little brown banner that says hello. And so to kind of hide those gaps between these photo frames and stuff, I do go ahead and put a couple of the florals. And I just kind of tuck those behind and it kind of covers up that transitional um, space from one frame to the next. And it just flows a little bit better, breaks up some of the straight lines. So I take the branding strip off and then I remember my um, border piece here. And since I can't really trim my sides because my pictures come up real close to each side, I go ahead and just trim uh, the bottom of the layout. And then that way I can put a little bit of this bold stripe showing at the top and bottom. And it just kind of helps to frame this layout or bookend the layout a little bit better since it is a light paper. And then I'm just looking for any other finishing touches. And uh, so I go ahead and grab my Heidi Swap gold ink and I'm just covering up my photos. And I do some splatters here. And then I also do my journaling uh, on the below the right hand photo and I put a little puffy heart at the end of my journaling and you'll see that here in the still photo at the end but I had to wait for um, my ink to dry before I could do my journaling and so that is pretty much my completed layout I love how simple it is um, I love just using the kit and you know to get back into the scrapbooking and stuff because I've been doing some longer mini albums and things like that using a kit was the perfect way to um, get back into things. So here is my finished layout. You can see my journaling and the puffy heart sticker. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad to be back to doing a few more of the scrapbooking layouts. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.